this episode, we're going to take a little bit different approach on how I deploy. So I manage several different applications and each application is hosted either in a different environment or has some different kind of criteria. So keeping track of how I should deploy each one of these applications can be a task. So for example, if I just take this index page and if I just add a version two in here and in my terminal, I'll go ahead and make my commit, but now I need to deploy this change. So basically what I've created and what I do is I just have a bin deploy function. I can then specify my environment. So this could be production, staging, or whatever kind of environment you may have. On any kind of production environment, I always have it check to make sure if I want to deploy this or not. And then it'll go through and do the entire deployment as I would expect. And so then everything gets deployed correctly. We can go back to our application and refresh. And then we see our change. And another functionality that I usually create is a bin SSH. And then again, I can provide my environment. So in this case, SSHing into my production environment, it'll do all of the credential checks. And now I'm on my production environment where I can do any kind of emergency maintenance or whatever the case. And so the nice thing about this is that one, I can keep all of my different projects very consistent. I don't need to try to figure out how to deploy in one project versus another. It's going to be basically all the same steps. And another great thing about this is that it's going to be platform agnostic. So it doesn't matter if I'm developing to a local server, to Kubernetes, to Elastic Beanstalk, to Heroku or DigitalOcean. This kind of functionality would be supported with all of those different platforms. And did you know that you can go to railstore.com to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt. So be sure to check that out and use the promo code Ruby for free shipping within the United States. To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the pro membership.